Welcome to Analytics with Nax. In this session, we are going to create our first paginated reports. In our previous session, we have seen how to install a report builder. Using a report builder, we can able to create a paginated reports. That's what we have seen in our previous videos. So now it's time for us to create our first paginated reports. Without further delay, let's begin our today's topic. For this, your prerequisite is like ensure you have a Microsoft SQL Server installed or any other database management system. It can be Oracle or Azure SQL or any other database management system that you prefer. And I'm going to use the AdventureWorks database. And in your case, if you do not have AdventureWorks, you have want to practice in your own data set or database, it's up, up to you. You can practice. But those who are learning from my channel, you can use MS SQL Server AdventureWorks database. And if you are asking me, I don't have any of this, how to do that? I already made a video to ensure how to install SQL Server, right? So this video you can watch to uh, understand how to install the DBMS. Once you install this, you follow this video, how to restore AdventureWorks database. So these are the two prerequisite before you design your first page needed reports. Let's begin. If you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for notification. So let us launch our Power BI report builder. Once you go to your uh, Windows menu, you can start typing Power BI report builder. I recently opened, that's why it appeared. And here is the one thing I want to highlight then you are going to create a new report there are different ways to create using a wizard wizard will help you to navigate to the list of steps that you have to perform before creating the report so as the name indicates what are the steps you need to connect to the source you need to get the data set and then you need to design your report then you need to view it right so everything you can implement using this wizard if you are very new to this uh, paginated reports you can go by this it will give you a rough skeleton or initial version then you, need, you can enhance on top of that okay uh, if you want to go by blank report everything you need to do manually one by one let's go by this learn in a proper way so that i can explain what are the things present in the paginated reports so go by blank report first now first things first I will try to explain uh, my best with uh, what are the different options available over here. So you can see from here the report data section this pane contains the as the name indicates is going to hold your data for your reports. Then this is the parameter pane where some reports if you want to do a parameterize it's optional one whether you, if you need a parameterize based on the user selection filtered then only this report will be viewed so this is the, your parameter pane this is the body where if you click on it you can see the body properties where you are going to actually design your reports what are the elements you are going to place in this uh, report page that will start appearing in your reports and as I said, you can set this uh, page size. I mean, uh, you can see from here, this body uh, size, how, how much it has to be fit. And also, when you click on here, this is the report properties. See, this is your body properties. And when you click outside, the white area, the gray area here, which is the report properties. Here also, you can set this um, page size margins interactive size everything together so this is more controllable for your uh, printing purpose so a4 size is the ideal uh, printing um, size so this is the default size i think so for this if you design your uh, reports will be pixel perfect everything fit within that specified format so these are about uh, your different viewing area and what about these row groups and column groups that I will explain it later while we design the reports. Then coming to view. So these are the four different items that we have seen. Report data is this and grouping area is this one. Parameters at the top 
and properties are ru ruler so whichever is not required we can uncheck it so that we will get more space for um, designing so right now i don't want uh, parameters i need uh, properties uh, later so right now i will hide these two things then coming to here you can design your reports so these are the things you can have as part of your power bi paginated reports you can have a table matrix list predominantly this report is meant for table and matrix then also you can also have a charts as well it is not only the table or printed reports you can also have a charts gauge map data bar sparkling indicators and now you might have thinking in your mind if you are having charts over here then why we need to go here as well as uh, why we need to re uh, design it in the power bi report itself right so these questions you will try to understand later part of this uh, playlist for now you focus on how to create paginated reports once you clearly understand paginated reports then you will um, have a comparison uh, why we need to go for paginated why we need to go for what makes uh, we move to power bi reports so first things first now let's try to create it now to create the report we need a data so as i said we need to get the data inside this report in order to get that first we need to create data sources these things are optionals for now now we will create the first data source like add data source so here we will specify the name as i mentioned i'm going to bring the adventure works database i'm just uh, naming um, adv that is adventure works and awn demo that is analytics with nax my data source resides in sql server so i'm choosing this and more importantly you can see power bi page related reports can be able to connect only with this data sets available over here around uh, 10 to 12 i think only these data sources you can be able to create unlike um, power bi reports can be able to create 100 plus sources this able to create only with the structural data that makes sense because it is a paginated uh, you have to print the reports uh, for uh, more number of pages or tabular format so most of the your data will be structural so um, this is the one important aspect you need to remember and uh, connection string if you have a connection string with you uh, while you connect to excel to some of the database it will create a connection string if you don't know just go to build and start creating it sorry so server name is you can get it from here database get the server name and paste it here then once you connect to that server name using authentication in my case it's windows i'm using that then go to adventure works then ensure that connection is working fine click on ok then click on ok again now what you have did so you have connected to only to the database okay which is nothing but a connection to the database you have not brought any data yet okay the bringing of data once you bring your data it is called your data sets okay so you can add a data set here it is like uh, i'm going to bring one simple report for products so dim products okay this is the name to that data set and which from which data source i need to bring uh, it will list down here so uh, you need to choose uh, whatever you created in the previous step ms adv awn demo then you can either type a query or when you click on a, a table here or query designer when you go to query designer you can choose from the list of tables available in the database in my case i want to make it very simple uh, report i have made some query available over here so what it will return is like you can see from here adventure works dim product where product category is not null i don't want anything with null and status equal to current products which returns 197 records let me run it for you so i will take this column and also you notice like this dim product contains a lot of uh, columns unnecessary columns around um, 
20 30 columns i filtered out which is not required i've just taken it and then i'm going to power bi report builder just pasting it just for this demo just click on okay now you can see a data set appeared only one table appeared now when you click on add data set if you want to bring um, another table okay say for example um, query designer sorry what was the error I need to choose um, okay text let's go by query designer let's say I want to bring the dim product subcategory okay this table I want to bring it here then you are having this uh, designer here then click on ok so this is nothing but dim sub category dim sub product or sub category okay, right right okay so this is dim product this is dim sub category and you notice that there is no relationship between them this is one data set this is another data set we will discuss deep about these things um, later part of the videos or uh, another video but you need to understand you there is nowhere you can create a relationship between the tables here whatever you want to do within the same table you can able to create the reports here this is for your understanding don't confuse with that I brought two tables here with this we'll stop here then how I can create a report so this is I said uh, this is your uh, report uh, um, creation area where you can design your reports let's start with a simple table report insert a table so once you click here insert table then you can see one plus symbol appeared here then drag and drop that's it I'm, I'm just zooming in now so this table by default it will give you two I mean three um, columns with two rows so this will have your header this will have your data so what it this table should contain what data to be populated right that is what we need to inform or design here the report definition you are giving so I am just going to uh, get the product name and the list price and the size maybe product name size and the list price that's what I'm going to see so let's click on here and here you have option to choose from which data set I need to get this data you see I'm choosing the data source first then this particular dim products okay then I'm choosing the English product name so once you choose from here it's not you need to click on header you need to click on data then you are mapping it here once you mapped your first column so this table is all assigned or mapped to this data sets now in this column you will not get option again to show some which data set okay because you are going to show uh, data from a data set dim products you already mentioned so you it since there is no relationship you cannot have uh, different data sets information in the same table so that is one important aspect so once you map to single data set your table is fixed to that data set so now once you mapped it is not asking for uh, again to choose now in this case it showed uh, dim products whatever columns present then I'm choosing it here again you go and choose the list price okay this is what so this is the table I want to see here so unlike power BI reports you are not getting the results immediately as you map these columns in this report definition that is the one important aspect of it okay that is important and how you can see it you need to run it so before that I will add a title here list of products report okay 
uh, made it and I'm uh, going to list it down and you here you see at the photo session we by default that is the execution time when this report is run that is the default option that appeared once you create a blank report itself so this report will contain a header one simple table and the, at the end it will have the when it is executed so in order to see this report you click on run now you can see from this this is the header and you got a list of products along with the uh, different price name and you can see from here there are different pages four out of five we are in the fifth page sixth page seventh page it's keep going till ninth page and at the end when you see at end of these pages you are in eighth page when you scroll down you see there is a when it has been executed so when you see next page at the end you see when it has been executed that is what it appeared so this will be appearing on the uh, your reports I mean to say uh, your paginated report this is the output of your paginated reports now you can able to adjust this uh, columns because it's not appeared properly and um, some of the properties we will try to change it now like uh, I have selected here so it will appear uh, completely all the columns I made it uh, bold then in order to have some colors click on that and make it uh, some red over here or individually you can click and uh, make col some coloring options or italic options something better than that okay there are a lot of formatting options we will try to understand it later I have changed this uh, report slightly let us uh, go and check how it looks like now now you see it was uh, somewhat uh, better than the previous uh, <coughs> design you can see from here I am seeing it in the print layout where <coughs> it was uh, very neat over here right so this is fine this is about your uh, page knitted reports in our next video we will try to compare power bi reports with your power bi um, uh, page knitted reports so that you will have a clear understanding about um, when to choose power bi page knitted reports if you are new to this channel hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for notification if you like this video hit the big thumbs up button and do remember that data is your asset.